16. How would you react to this? Oh, that's a pretty good one there. So the daughter has three times your body count. How would you react to this? Would you care? Would you tell her, hey, you're fucking up? What would you do? Yeah, first off, I would tell her she's fucking up. <sighs> That's so f- Like, three times. Uh, even if the number was, like, one. Okay. Three <laughs> times my body count at 18. Not cool. Like, you need to be... Sorry. You need to be saving yourself for someone who's actually going to provide you something good in your life and not just giving yourself away to, like, high school men. Like... Ooh. Okay. Facts. What about you? Yeah, I definitely believe that it's like an energy exchange. So like, don't fuck it up. Like you have so much like good energy and you don't share it with other people. Soul ties, huh? Yeah. Mm, Interesting. Yeah. What about you? Um, I would probably just like tell her that there's like no rush. Most people regret like most of the people they sleep with at a young age. So it's no rush, you know. Is that you? (laughs) No. (laughs) Okay, I'm not doing it. Kind of. What about you? I actually do have a, she's almost 18. So hopefully she doesn't have a three body counts. But um, I would tell her like, you know, just hopefully wait until the right person comes along. Like I didn't wait at 18. I probably had three body counts. But, um, So hopefully she wouldn't follow no, my three, footsteps. No, three, I mean, three times, three times, times, body times count. your body count. Oh, no, you said three times. Three times count. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 18. absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said three body counts. Um, No, no, that, that, that conversation, the way I raise her is something deeper than that. How do you keep her in? Not in check, but how do you tell her without telling her specifically? What do you do to take measures against that? Well, we actually talk. I talk to my daughter. Like, I've been talking to my daughter since she was, like, 14. Mm. Um, because of my upbringing and my family and my friends and my environment. Been in Detroit and my friends are, like, we were wow. Like, wow. So, I use my life experiences to teach her, like, what not to do. Let's say she met a guy that was maybe a bad boy in the streets. Would you tell her, to like, don't date him? What would you do? No, I don't really believe that like i i, I tell her to kind of like when you guys say bad boys what do you mean a bad boy like hey, you know he's not good for her he's all gonna dog her out want you to well yeah but that's gonna go over her head i just tell her i mean she hears me but she doesn't like right. it, unfortunately i'm not the one who really communicates she has a better relationship with my sister so it's good that she has somebody she can talk to because as a kid you don't give a shit about what your parents think like i tell her like kendall i hope you don't you know indulge in like a bad boy but the guy she has now he's cool and I like them. So hopefully, I haven't had to cross that bridge yet. How I would deal with it, I don't know. Cool. What about you? First of all, I am dragging that girl's hair across the floor. <laughs> She's getting beat. No, um, no, that would happen. First of all, it's not going to happen because I'm going to communicate things before that. So she's mm-hmm. aware. So mm-hmm. she's aware of, you know, life and how things work. So that ain't happening. Okay. And if it does, she's getting dragged. <laughs> okay. Respectfully. <laughs> What about you? Um, yeah, I'd be pretty pissed. I mean, I don't even want to think about that. That's like some crazy shit. So, yeah, I'd just be pissed. Why is it crazy? Is your body kind of high? No, but even if it was like one, <laughs> I feel like that's kind of like... What's heavy. your body count? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Silent <laughs> mode, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what about you? A daughter, three things your body count, what would you do? I don't think that would even happen to begin with because I would instill those values in her subconscious at such a young age. I would teach her to mm. respect her body, that her vessel is not for foreign energy to enter all the time if you don't have a sacred connection with the other person. But if it did happen, I would have a con- conversation with her and I would tell her to value herself more, to respect herself more and to save her womb space for someone that is actually really special to her hmm. that's deep just like some nigga in her never mind <laughs> good what about you <laughs> yeah uh, definitely not but to be honest with you i would just let her dad handle it because i feel like when it comes to stuff like that men are better at handling you know those type of situations so i would do that okay pretty smart and if you miss serbia i mean i'd be upset but i would just talk to her and tell her like to save herself or someone special, not get it too high, like wait until you're in a relationship and you're really like the guy. I don't know. Just something where she's not like just going out and having sex with whoever she wants. Like chill girl, just chill. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. All right. I got a question. Uh so or did you want to go no. go back to go the chats? All right. So hey guys, um from this point forward, because we already got almost ten thousand y'all in here. So this we're gonna do from this point forward, we're gonna read twenty and up. However, what I'll do is I'll make sure every single chat that came before we'll read them. We got you guys. 
Um, but from this point forward, it's going to be 20 and up. However, every, also, every single chat will be shown on screen. So we got y'all. Don't worry about it. Uh, but I got a question for ladies. What age do you think a man will find love? Mm. Is there here on Miss Serbia? I would say in the 30s. 30s? Yeah. Can you give a specific age? Uh, well, start here, Miss Serbia. Um, if you had to guess. I mean, a lot of people fall in love in, like, high school. But I wouldn't say that's, like, real love. Maybe, like, a man for, to find real love, I would say late 20s, mid-20s. Okay. Yeah. Late 20s? All right. Yeah. I would say 27, 28, around there. Cool. Okay. I would say about late 20s, 30s. Just because after that, you already developed and you already accomplished all the things that you need to in life to be an established man. So you said late 20s to 30, early 30s? Yes. Okay. For you? What about you? I think it depends because there's so many different types of love that one experiences in life. One that's combined with attachment. One that is more puppy honeymoon phase love. But I think that the mature, secure attachment love happens yeah. later on in life when you're like 30, you're ready to settle 30. down. Okay. I like that uh, point of view. What about you? Um, Probably like late 20s. Late 20s. Okay. Can you give a specific age if you were to copycat? 25. 25. That's mid-20s. Okay. I know. Yeah, I All guess right. you're right. Yeah. What about you? I'm going to say 38 to 40. Okay. So To 45, probably somewhere in between there. Because I think uh, when they're younger, they have one. Don't worry, I'll ask you why in a second. Uh, what about you? I would say like 47 to 55. So your Damn. age. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. No, well, that seriously. Him. That was him. What about you? Um, Chris, come on, man. Late 20s, early 30s, because most guys are, you know, they're still in their hoe phase. Like, I think pretty much all their 20s. So. Okay, late 20s to, you said early 30s? Yeah. Can you give us like an approximate number? Give us numbers. Like 29, 30, 31. Okay. Wait a minute. You? How do you I know that? I would say like 35. How did you know that? Just a guess. What about you? I would say probably about like 34. Okay. All right. Now, what age do you think a woman will find love? Oh. Yep. True love. True love. Whatever that means. Wow. <laughs> um. Probably right. like 22. 22? Okay. I would say like 25, 26. I feel like a woman like fully develops herself and like I hope she does. So that <laughs> that's like a good age. Okay. What about you? Oh, um, probably like early 20s. Yeah. Give a specific age. Let's try to make it. Mm, or 22. Range at least. 22? Yeah. Okay. I would say like 30, 35. Okay. 30, 35. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to say 30, 35. I'd say probably like 23, 24. 20 